November 9th, and I have to tell you that it's been almost two years since I've been to a movie or a play. Love to go to plays. We were big theater goers, and we loved the movies also. We had plenty of time on our hands, and we went to, went to all the local theaters in Port Jefferson and Smithtown, and I tell you that we really miss that right now. But we never went to these concerts. And I want to talk about this concert in Houston where eight people died and 17 others were taken to the hospitals. And I don't know how many other people were injured. But when I saw the pictures of these people packed, packed in behind a barricade, and I don't know how much room and how large that space was, it certainly didn't seem like there was enough room for those 50,000 people. And when the performer, Travis Scott, comes on the stage and there's a surge, these people move closer to see him or hear him. And it's crazy. Why were they there in the first place? The guy standing on a stage, he's... Man, you can't get close to him no matter what happens. Anyhow, they surge and the, the, the people get crushed. And the ugly part about this whole thing is when you're looking at the pictures of people trying to pull people free from the barricade, you can't believe it. The barricades must have been cemented into the ground or something because they didn't budge an inch. And they were right up to the people's shoulders, this barricade, or it seemed that way. I guess when they're bending over trying to get over the barricade, it seemed terrible, horrible situation. And people pulling people over the barricade, and they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the people who died got di died because they got pulled against the barricade, and then they were crushed and whatever. It was a disaster. I don't know what the rules are. But in talking to my daughter, who is in the entertainment business, she says in these things there's got to be fire codes and everything and rules. And I don't know if there were rules because of the way these people were packed in. I don't know if there was any rules about how many people you could have per square foot or whatever. You know, it didn't look to me like these people had anything like a yard of space at all. They were just crowded in there, packed in like proverbial the sardines, you know, they used to talk about sardines. And I remember riding on the New York City subways when it was crowded in the morning. And we, we, we thought we were packed in like sardines into the subway train. And I remember when you had to run for the train, the doors open and people surging into the train, not even letting people get out of the train. So that's what flashed through my mind as I was thinking about it and how I hated to be crowded into the subway, you know, pushed up against and you had to hold on to the handle that came down from the ceiling so you wouldn't fall over if the train stopped quickly. So just think about this concert scene and people packed in tight in in the subway tighter than being stuck at the station in Times Square, you know. Tighter than being at Times Square in New Year's Eve. These people were packed in. And Travis Scott came out and I don't even think he got any words out of his mouth before the surge started. And now he's being sued, you know, and maybe even criminally charged for having such a poorly managed venue. And I don't know what it costs. I don't know how much it costs to go to that concert. I'm sure it wasn't cheap. I'll have to look and see how much money they made and how much money they're going to get sued for. And I don't know. I don't know what they can do. I don't know if it was a criminal act. I don't know if it was neglect. 
I don't know what the fire code was. I just know it was horrible. And this should be an example of what happens in this country. And maybe this is because of the pandemic they were all there, but I don't think so. I think in terms of these concerts, people go bonkers. They just love the artists and they go bonkers and they want to get out and they want to stretch and everything. And there should be some room for them to do that. And it turns out that this is not the first time this has happened. This is not the first time there was a crush in a concert. There's a crush in a concert a couple of years ago and 11 people died. So are we so music crazy that we have to get out there and pack ourselves in and get killed for an evening of entertainment? I would love to be able to go out, but it's still too dicey. I haven't gone to the movie, and I tell you something, I haven't seen anything add that would make me want to go to the movies right now. I haven't seen anything that seems to appeal to me in all the advertising I've seen for some movies and stuff. I can't even remember the names of the things that have been advertised. And I think it's just a shame. It's a terrible shame. People go out for an evening of joy, an evening to relax and get away from the pandemic and all the other things that might be rumbling through their heads in these terrible times. And they get crushed. You get crushed. And you see the terrible faces reaching out to people to rescue them and they can't get through. Stuck, stuck, stuck like a can of sardines. Terrible. A terrible visual remembrance. And I don't know what this group, this company called Live Nation and Score Moors, are going to do. Are they going to be allowed to run another concert? Everybody involved in this event is under scrutiny. And it's become a criminal investigation. That means there must have been some criminal thing there. Something that violated the rules. I don't know. Crowd shouldn't have been obviously the crowd shouldn't have been that large. So I don't know when Travis Scott is saying he's devastated. Well he should apologize and everything, but I don't know that helps when a loved one dies. So that's what I have to say this morning. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but it's terrible, terrible. You go out for the evening and you end up in a situation like that. So I'll leave you with that this morning and have a great day and hopefully tomorrow there'll be better things to talk about. Bye.